Hello and welcome to the final stage of our Autodesk Inventor uh, 3D printed card tutorial. In this stage we're going to be taking a look at the Slicer software, a free open source software that works with most uh, budget 3D printers. First thing we need to do is start adding in our components. So I click the Add button and we're just going to find the different parts of the car that we've just finished drawing. So there's my car body and we'll go Add and I'll select the wheels as well. And there's the wheel. So I've got my two major components in. Um, the other thing that I'm going to have to add is a little rectangle that's going to be used as support material. All it is is a 30 mil by 30 mil square that's 0.4 millimeters thick. I drew it in Inventor and what it does is it helps support the car. So I'm going to lay that down first by right clicking, rotating around the x-axis 90 degrees so it lays down flat. Okay, we'll just set that over there for now. Now we can take the car and we can orientate it. So I'm going to right click and rotate first around the x-axis. So I'm going to go negative 90 degrees. So that'll rotate it down onto its base. And then I'm going to rotate it again because right now we can't print it. There's too much support needed. But if I go rotate again around the x, negative 65 degrees. Normally 65 to 70 will do this properly puts it up on end. Now normally this would not print because there's nothing supporting it. There's just a thin line at the bottom. But if we put it over the pad, the pad supports it. That's why it's there. So the next thing we'll do is we're going to increase the number of wheels. Right click, increase copy, right click, increase copy, and right click, increase copy. Reorientate everything. We'll put that back over there. And we'll move the wheels. Keeping things close just makes the print time faster. So there's a car. So everything's laid out properly on the bed now. We just gotta check a couple settings. So if I go to printer settings, speeds, they're gonna be specific for your machine. So don't worry about that. That's a whole nother day. Infill, we want about 5% infill on these cars. You could get away with not using any because they're so small, but just set it to five to be safe. Any more than that, you're wasting material. Um, skirt and brim. I've got mine set at three loops around the project. So that's my skirt. And that just gives me a chance to level out the bed. Some support material, no support material selected. And that's that. So, okay, so we'll just go back to platter, export our G code, give it a name, tutorial one is fine. Click save and it's exported to 3D printer.